Sorry if my voice sounds a little terrible. People have been asking me uh, what kind of builds I rock with some of the dwarves in Deep Rock. And I'm just here to show off uh, what I do really quickly. And that's really it. Starting off with the gunner. This is the uh, gun that I usually use for his primary. Sometimes I use this one, but it's really rare. I use lead storm overclock for him a lot. And sometimes I'll use this one for longer missions or things like deep dives where the ammo and ability to move is a lot more useful than lead storm. But usually lead storm is the one I rock. For the revolver, I will use elephant rounds because it basically just turns it into a sniper. And then for perks, I usually go this if I'm solo. If I am uh, on a team, I'll usually change this for field medic. Maybe get like friendly if it's necessary or resupply or something, but usually this will stay consistent throughout. Scout is next, and this is the one that a lot of people have been asking me for because it's the one I usually play the most. The gun that I use most often for his primary, if not all the time, is his assault rifle. This is mainly because I don't really have good overclocks for my other two guns that I like for my playstyle, but this is basically what I use and I go for battle frenzy instead of battle cool or stun because I like the movement speed buff it helps a lot with my play style of just running fast and getting things done quickly the shotgun falls into a pretty similar category I just go for more ammo on the overclock because I don't have a good overclock for the shotgun yet I go for the heat because I usually almost always go born ready so auto reload isn't necessary as for the perks this is usually what i'll rock for things like egg hunt a cork missions things where i'm carrying heavy loads otherwise this is the perk setup that i use for things that isn't of that sort because this will allow me to pick up a lot of ores usually nitra which is really helpful especially if i'm playing multiplayer and as for dash i will switch that out really often for heightened senses but this usually goes to dash if it's Akon or a Quarks because the extra speed is pretty useful. I also use uh, speed on the grappling hook instead of safety first. People might think that is a little bit uh, strange because usually you want that fall damage reduction. There's two reasons I don't use it. One is because I almost always use hover boots which will reduce my fall almost all the time, unless it's off cooldown. It's a really temporary fall damage reduction, unless they've changed it to be longer. Uh, if you fall from a really big height, that is not gonna save you. So I usually just rock hover boots instead, and that movement speed boost really helps me for my kind of play style. I like just going fast and getting shit done quickly as the scout. Driller is one of my favorites. This is the cryo cannon that I rock. I'm still yet to get any sort of overclock for him besides ice spear, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. On missions, if there's like a bunch of robots, I'll go for a flamethrower build instead, but usually it'll be cryo cannon. Secondary, I started using this gun now, which actually isn't even that bad. I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'm getting the hang of it. It's a really good gun. It's got potential. As for my satchels, I will go this sort of build. I like going for that increased damage radius. I could probably just go even more damage, but you know, I very, very rarely need that much damage. I usually just use it to wipe out a large crowd of bugs or just get through dirt. And then drills, you might notice that I use the barbed drills for more damage which is a very rare thing to see because it's still not doing much damage so like why would you want to use it melee damage on drills is because of the perks that i, I usually rock a lot of damage reduction and vampire uh for the passives and for actives i will go usually see you in hell and berserker because of the melee damage but i can easily switch them out these are more of a last resort and the reason i do all this is because of vampire it's it's really just vampire it's the whole reason i do this build when enemies are frozen they take a lot more damage and they're really easy to kill with drills or a pickaxe which makes a vampire really good and another thing that people might not know is that impact axe counts as a melee attack which means vampire gives you hp if you kill something with an axe so you become like really 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 tanky with this build it's really good I find it to be extremely useful on missions where you get swarmed all the time and you just become a walking tank. It's really good. And lastly is the engineer. Uh, I do a lot of weird stuff for engineer. So we'll, we'll start off with the guns first. I don't like to use these two 
because I haven't really gotten good overclocks for these and you know this one uses a lot of ammo everyone knows that I do have the EM discharge but I still haven't tried it yet because I like just recently got it but this is usually what I will rock for the shotgun this is what I use for the engineers turrets I will rarely use a single turret but I will use it sometimes I also go quick deploy because with a four second construction time that's eight seconds to build your turrets which can really spell the difference between life and death in a lot of cases for the grenade launcher which i somehow forgot i go with this and then of course i go fat boy if i'm not going fat boy i will simply go no overclock because i don't have any other like overclock to really replace it or sometimes i'll go with this one if we don't have a scout and we really need someone with a lot of mobility for collecting things but that's really rare as for the perks this is what i usually rock i'll usually change this out for like field medic or shield like if i'm playing co-op the dash is really useful because ng doesn't really have much mobility can easily be caught like you know caught, caught lacking by the bugs basically and there you go i get i think that's basically all four dwarves explained uh for my build that's what i usually rock if you have any questions uh about the builds just let me know in the comments i think i got everything but if not feel free to let me know or ask any additional questions if you want me to make any other kind of tutorial or anything of that sort for deep breath you can also let me know and i can consider that as well uh other than that uh that's all for me i'm gonna go see if i can get like coffee or tea or something because my throat hurts <laughs>